Council, we haven't had an opportunity to get together until today. Uh, yesterday, when I was working the polls up in Dunedin for the supervisor of elections, uh, I received a phone call from the governor. And he wanted to know what we were doing and what our thinking was. And I explained to him that, you know, we were, you know, looking at following the guidelines that the, um, the state and the CDC had recommended, but that, you know, there was other concerns that we had. And he basically said that, you know, whatever we felt was in the best interest of the city of Clearwater, he would be supportive of. Uh, earlier this morning, I had a conversation with Sheriff Golteri, who I think we all would agree is, is probably the best sheriff in, in the state, if not the country. I uh, have an awful lot of respect for his recommendations that we give this policy uh, that the county and that we have in our ordinance a, a chance to operate. Um, then I had a conversation from a couple of doctors here in town, and they took an opposite view. They, they took a very opposite view. Uh, and I have, and as you know, we have received despite, you know, Mr. Sheffs' comments, who I, you know, thoroughly respect, uh, he hasn't been on this side of the telephone answering phone calls that our staff has been answering about how reckless and irresponsible we are and how we don't care about anything uh, and we're moving forward by keeping our beaches open. Um, even the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of England have changed their opinions about how drastic this illness, this virus is. And when, when you are the number one beach in the country, people look to you. And they look to you to be a leader. And as difficult as this may be for the short term, uh, the idea of trying to flatten the curve, at least from the information that I've been reading, gives us a better opportunity to bring this under control sooner rather than later. Uh, I don't want anyone to get sick on Clearwater Beach. But I also don't want somebody getting sick on Clearwater Beach and then it coming back to haunt us because of what may happen later on. Uh, I would prefer that despite the concerns or, or the thoughts that had been expressed to us this, e this evening and by each of you, that we would consider closing the beach immediately uh, so that there's no public access to the sand. Uh, I realize, you know, as the sheriff was saying, well, then you're just moving the problem. But others will follow suit. And this is an opportunity for the number one beach in the country to say that we value public health. And we think that our responsibility is to do what we can as a community, as a city, as businesses on the beach to protect the public health as best we can. And we can always revisit this. Uh, we're going to see numbers going up. Uh, don't kid yourself because we've only got four cases in Pinellas County. Uh, it's it's going to go up. And I don't want it to come back and haunt us to say that it happened here because Clearwater was not willing to stick its neck out. And, and to be a leader. Ten cases. Ten. Okay. Ten. Right now. So I, I, I would prefer that someone make a motion. You know, and one last thing. We're closing our libraries. We're closing our rec centers. Why aren't we closing our beaches? You know. Open and, air. And, and that is <coughs> rec centers are also open air, you play tennis, you send kids to camp outside to play softball and, and baseball. Spring training has closed down, open air. You know, I 
appreciate this. I feel for our employees, or I feel for the business community and its employees, but I would rather, I would rather keep them safe. I would rather try to reduce the chance of their getting sick. Uh, and also, we're suspending our meetings for 30 days. Why don't we suspend our meetings for two weeks, you know, as opposed to 30 days? I mean, we're doing things for ourselves that we're not willing to do for the community and for our visitors and for our reputation. And, and that weighs on me an awful lot, and I would hope that it would weigh on you. Motion to 